Hi folks, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint dungeon doors. So we sprayed the door with Halford's Matte Black Primer, which gives it a nice undercoat. And the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mechanica's Standard Grey. We're going to use that to paint all of the stonework around the door. Now it doesn't have to be this grey, if you've got another grey that you want to do, you can do obviously lighter or darker different coloured stones. It doesn't have to be even grey at all, any coloured stone will do. But the principles will be the same with each one that you use. Next we're going to use Flames of War Flat Earth, which is a Vallejo colour. We're going to be painting all of the wood with this. Now you do want to try and get a smooth colour, but if there are some streaks it doesn't matter too much because you do get discoloration in wood anyway. Next colour is going to be Citadel Lead Belcher, which is a nice dark metallic. You can use this to paint the lock and the door handle, and also the bars on the door. Now you obviously don't have to use this colour, again you can make them brighter, you can paint them gold, or black like um, wrought iron. But for this I'm going to be using the Lead Belcher, just to give you a bit of an idea of painting the silver bars. Next thing we're going to use is Citadel Agrax Earthshade. It's a dark brown shade and we're just going to cover the whole of the wood with it. Now you want to make sure there's a little bit more shade between the planks and around the edges of the door just to darken them up. And if you get any darker sections on the wood that doesn't matter too much either because like we said when we were applying the brown you will get streaks of different colour in wood. So if there is darker patches that doesn't matter too much either. Now we're going to be using Citadel Known Oil, we're going to use this to shade all the brickwork and all the metallics. like so. Now we're going to Mechanica's Standard Grey once more. We're going to reapply the colour to the brickwork. Now like we did with the wood, it doesn't matter if it's not 100% coverage, if you have a few streaks, that doesn't really matter too much. That can just be discolorations in the stone too. We'll just carry on with the stonework and then come back when it's done. Now we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo white to the Mechanica's standard grey just to make a lighter shade. Now again if you've got three different coloured greys and a dark, medium and light you can use those. But this is just to use the minimum colours that you can. So mix those two together and then you're just highlighting more or less the top half of the bricks. And once you get to the very top bricks and you're painting the sides of them, maybe the top three or four, you want to paint the whole sides of them with this highlight because the light will catch it. If it's not hidden within a wall, of course. Now I'm going to add one final bit of white to that mix. I'm going to do one final highlight on the brickwork. Now this is mainly going to be on all the edges, so you're going to be doing that top edge with a little bit more highlight 
than you are doing on the corners. And then you're going to kind of drag the paint down the corners using the side of the brush. And that'll make them stand out nicely. Now we're going to use the Vallejo Flat Earth, the Flames of War colour again. I'm just going to repaint all the wood. What I'm trying to do here is underneath all the bars and underneath the door handle, I'm going to leave a little bit more of a gap than I usually would, just so it makes it creates the effect of having a shade underneath the bars. Now we're going to paint all the planks back with this again. And what's more, if it is a bit streaky, it doesn't matter too much because that can just be discolorations in the wood. Now we've added a little bit of Vallejo white to the flat earth. I'm going to use the flat edge of the brush by smoothing the tip of the brush down as you're getting the paint on it so it makes one long thin edge. And then you're going to use the very thin side of that edge to drag the brush down and create these little pale lines to give the effect of wooden grain on the door. Of course, you can use the very tip. Or the point of your brush, but as this brush is slightly old, this is the way you'd use it. Now we're going to use Citadel Agrax Earth Shade again. We're going to use this on the very top, on the very bottom of the door. And this is just to make a kind of U shape, as though it's caught the damp and there's damp in the wood there. So we're going to do a couple of layers of this. You won't see them all, it's just going to show you where you want to be putting it. And then once the layers have dried, add another layer just to darken it up again until you get the right level of darkness that you're after. Now we're going to use some Citadel Null Oil. And that's just going to be to darken the very tops and the very bottoms of the door panels. So as you did quite a big U of a Grax Earth shade, you're going to be doing a smaller U and then just tracing some Null Oil up between the planks and doing the same at the top as well. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Athonian Camo Shade. And this is just going to be to put a little bit of damp on the brickwork, so you do a little bit at the bottom there, and then between some of these areas, and then up the top where water would run down and collect in the corners. Like so. And that is the door finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.